That area is home to the reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. It's a huge snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give them a good scare. Right. But how do they taste? Huh? Do they taste good? You're actually going to eat one. Why else would I be asking? Cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Let's see what the guide says. Ah, you're in luck. It says they taste pretty good. Good. I can hardly wait. Ugh. That area is home to the Sunda Whistling Thrush. The Sunda Whistling Thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. If you're aiming to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? The guide doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. Ugh. Snake, there are rats living in that area. The rats in that area are the descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Uh-huh. So how do they taste? Snake. What? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they taste okay? <sighs> the guide says they're not that bad. Good enough for me. Ugh. That's the home to the otten frog. The otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. Got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. Snake, that area is inhabited by the Japanese flying squirrel. Japanese flying squirrels are non-venomous, and they shouldn't attack you. The head, front legs, hind legs, and tail of the Japanese flying squirrel are connected by a membrane of skin, which allows the squirrel to glide from tree to tree. It says here that if it catches a good wind, it can fly more than a hundred yards. Sounds like it's going to be tough to catch one. So aren't you going to ask me? You know it. How does it taste? Not sure. Not sure? The guy doesn't say anything about it. Why not? Gee, maybe it's because no one would ever think of eating a flying squirrel. Then I must be the first one. <sighs> maybe you are. Snake, be careful. That area is inhabited by coral snakes. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. Its venom is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Apparently, the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison that keeps them from attacking. There are many animals that mimic the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. Uh-huh. You're not even listening, are you? No. <sighs> okay, we'll talk about something you're interested in then. The taste? Yes. 
It says here that coral snakes are pretty good in a snaky kind of way. A snaky kind of way, huh? You can capture animals alive by using the tranquilizer gun or a mouse trap. When you capture a live animal, you can carry it on you as a weapon by going to backpack in the survival viewer. Once an animal is on your person, equip it and press the weapon button to throw it. Throwing a venomous animal at an enemy might be enough to knock him out. Even non-venomous animals like frogs can be used to distract the enemy's attention. And since I know you're going to ask me, yes, keeping animals alive prevents them from rotting and makes them taste better when you eat them. Remember, though, you've only got three cages for capturing live animals. That area is inhabited by the milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Is that right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. I see you've caught a Thai Cobra. The Thai Cobra is a large venomous snake that carries an extremely potent neurotoxin. Be careful not to get bitten. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to give yourself a serum injection. The Thai Cobra originally comes from Indochina, Thailand, and Southern China. The ones in that area were probably imported as pets and research subjects before they escaped and turned feral. Not as food? Come again? They weren't imported as food. They're not for eating. So they don't taste good then? That's not my point. It's not a matter of whether they taste good or not. People don't raise snakes for food, period. Okay. So you're saying they might be good to eat, right? Only one way to find out. You say there are attack dogs? Those attack dogs are Great Danes. The breed is originally from Germany. They've been used for hundreds of years as hunting dogs. As you can see, they're very large, strong too. They've got a calm yet courageous temperament, and on top of that, they're extremely intelligent. In some cases, a trained Great Dane can be more dangerous than a human opponent. Watch out for them. Interesting. Forget it, Snake. Forget what? You were thinking about how they taste, weren't you? I wasn't thinking. Don't lie to me. I could tell by the look on your face. You can't see my face. No, but I can imagine it. Don't you dare think about trying to capture an attack dog. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Snake, that area is inhabited by the green tree python. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile, too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. It's a really pretty green color, and it lives... Oh, my God. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? N nothing. Ugh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I... I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? Ugh. It was awfully pretty, though. Snake, that area should be inhabited by tree frogs. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. 
It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Use the tranquilizer gun to catch one alive. I bet you could scare an enemy good if you toss one at him. But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So, how about it? You mean, is it edible? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably? I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. I see you've captured a white rumped vulture. The white rumped vulture is a type of vulture found in India. Its diet consists mostly of dead animal carcasses. I don't think it'll attack you, but it's a fairly large bird of prey, so you probably won't be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. But there is something here that's bothering me. What is it? They say the white rumped vulture doesn't just eat animal carcasses. It eats human ones as well. Is that so? Yeah. So then if a person eats a white rumped vulture, does that mean he's eating human meat too? What do you think? Stop it already. You're gonna make me lose my appetite. The horse the boss was riding sounds like an Andalusian. Andalusians are from the region of Andalusia in Spain. They're renowned for their beauty, their gentle nature, and their physical prowess. Hmm. Just so you know, you can't eat them. Hey, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you were going to. I was? Yes. Don't even think about eating a horse, got it? Guess I'll have to mark it off the list. What did you say? I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. The giant anaconda is a very large snake, but you should be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Oh. Snake, that area is inhabited by markers. The markor is a kind of wild goat that lives in mountainous areas. It's quite large, so I don't think you'll be able to capture them alive, even with the tranquilizer gun. All right. Speaking of which, do you know the origin of the name markor? No. It means snake eater in Persian. Snake eater? Lost your appetite? Not at all. So, how does it taste? It's supposed to be pretty good. All right. Snake, that area is home to the Big Eye Trevely. The Big Eye Trevely is a type of mackerel. The adult fish lives around coral reefs, but the young can be found in freshwater areas such as estuaries and rivers. Good to know. So, how do they taste? Hmm, the guidebook doesn't say. Huh. Well, if they're a kind of mackerel, they should be okay to eat, right? You'd think so, but... But what? Well, I've heard stories about people getting ciguatera poisoning after eating the adult fish. Ciguatera poisoning? Uh-huh. Fishes that live near coral reefs are sometimes contaminated with a poison known as ciguatera toxin. It apparently gives you food poisoning when you eat it. So I can't eat those big-eyed trebling? 
I don't know whether this treble are contaminated with sacred terror or not, but use caution just in case. Hey, Snake, have you seen 20,000 leagues under the sea? Nope, haven't seen that one. After a number of battleships mysteriously sink at sea, the American government investigates and finds that the culprit is this pacifistic Captain Nemo. The scene where the giant squid attacks Captain Nemo's submarine, the Nautilus, is breathtaking. The movie was filmed in CinemaScope, and it was great to see it on the big screen. A giant squid, huh? What? Don't tell me you think it sounds tasty. Forget it, Snake. Snake. What are you doing here? You were thinking about how they taste, weren't you? I wasn't. Snake. Stop right there. Even I wouldn't. Don't lie to me. I could tell by the look on your face. Hmm. You know something? Huh? Humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship huh? between... You're not even listening, are you? Hmm. Don't even think about eating a horse. Got it? Got it? Yeah, yeah. You're actually going to eat one. Shut up. Just don't. In any case, don't tell me you think it's You know, please I wonder if you even remember that you are.